basking in the glory of the AC. That's why we can walk like a gentleman. Okay, so Lex is here, and you see all the curly wires next to him. Got a strobe light with a real xenon tube. So I don't believe in that LED bullshit, as you probably know. A siren for the alarm, and a speaker complete with cat fur. The speaker will also be hooked in as well. It'll all come together later, you'll see. Um, we have all the wires there is actually an ethernet cable. So there's four pairs or eight wires. Two are gonna be for the strobe, two for the speaker, two for the siren. And uh, we're gonna mount the strobus and uh, connect that up to the orange pair. I have to write this down so that way when I go downstairs later, I can know which wires to connect where. Mounting the strobus up there. Of course, I'll give you a full demo of this once we're done. Just drywall screws going right in the drywall. Fine, good enough. That's all it's going to take to hold it. Got that, and another screw is right here. So that's mounted. We'll connect the wires. Okay, so now we're, it's just a twist and tape job. These are never gonna be touched, so. That's it, we have the or solid orange going to the red wire. The striped white and orange going to the black wire. All the stripes will be negative. The solids will be positive. Working on the siren, I've got to wire that first because the wires go in it and tighten down. I can't show you any other angle right now. That just mounts with one drywall screw. And the cover, almost. Sort of hangs there. Okay, speaker with jumper lead freshly soldered. And these are the screws that we're going to use, long ones. And that'll bite in just enough, as you see, to the drywall that it should hold. And there's four of them because that's how it mounts. And I put an ohmmeter on it, the speaker is good, so get it up there. Okay, now we're driving those long screws in one to start it, and then we'll mount it up. There, just like that. Let's see how it's gonna mount. I mean, really two will hold it, but, you know, why not? It's not like it's gonna be putting out a lot of stuff. It's a nice elbow you got there. <laughs> it's not like it's putting out a lot of power, but it's just enough to hear the ding bell if somebody happens to ring it while in the garage, you know, because I can. Back in the house, armed with a Philips screwdriver. The ethernet wire that was just connected to everything, uh, we ran last time. So now we're gonna take the speaker down so we can tie into it. Go over to the alarm panel where the rest wire's in. And we'll tie the wires together there. There we go. Got a wire run from here, where the speaker is hanging over there, to the alarm panel. This is ancient, absolutely wretched wire. Absolutely awful. The insulation is terrible. It's not frayed, so it's plenty good enough for these purposes. The wire is like sticky even, but it should be fine. And if it's not, then fuck my life. I don't know which is positive and negative, we'll figure that out later on. And now I have to wire it up to the spicker, but I think I'm going to have to put a little jumper lead on that because 
the wires are too thin. And this is too thick, but that's what I had. So let me go make a jumper wire. All right, so we got a little jumper off the speaker. Now we're tying the new wire, which is there. And twist these together. And the AC starting up. I'll take these up and get the wire all combobulated later, as well as mount the speaker right. Just test for now, and now over to the panel. All right, uh, this wire is rather unmarked, so it's just getting twisted together any old way for now, and you can always correct the polarity later. Should still work, it just may not be loud enough or something. It's not really a big deal. You know, when you try to do shit real cheap, because you're a cheap fuck like I am, this is what you get, but it's only two wires, you just twist them back together. Now the speaker's hooked up. Let's test that first. Okay, speaker's hooked back up. So that's working. So that means nothing is shorted. Let's go out to the garage. I don't know if you can even hear it. We're gonna ring the house and you'll hear the So it works. Perfect. Doorbell. That may take a moment. Yep, definitely. Just barely. But it's there, so if I'm in here and it's quiet, I can hear it over everything. If I had another amplifier for it, then it would certainly work better, but this is... I'm just using what I got, so that'll be enough for now. We'll start with that. Now we'll wire up the rest of the stuff. Okay, wiring in the strobe. Now, for some reason, I didn't leave myself much slack. This is all the wiring I did with this relay and these wires here. There are two red wires and a speaker-looking wire. The speaker looking wire goes to the strobe over here, so I know that that's the output wire. That means that this black wire, which goes to this wire nut, is the input wire. So this is always live. And that means that this is the one where the negative gets connected. So I'm going to rewire nut that before anything else falls apart, take that off, and then put the negative wire on there. Okay, I got all those wire nuts back. See the orange and white with orange tracer hooked into that, and that leaves the, so I've wrapped up the blue that we're not using, and that leaves the brown wire, which is here, to be hooked into the panel. Okay, I have the negative in, and now I will try my best to get the positive in on this terminal. Screwdriver in. easier. <laughs> Should be fine right there. Okay, brown is in. It's on the right side of it, but it's enough for now for test. Now we'll go out to the garage and see if the siren and strobe work. Okay, I'm going to give it a test. It's going to be loud. Here we go. <laughs> Fucking right he did. One shot. Nice. Okay, I think it's on instant, so when I open the door it should sound and throw an alarm immediately. Okay, no, I guess it has a delay still. Alrighty. I forget how the fucking instant works, but anyway, we're all set. It's armed. Open the door. It's got a delay. When it starts beeping, maybe we can see the strobe out there. Yeah, you can just barely see it by the wall. 
I don't know how long it takes, about 30 seconds or so, and then when it goes beep, 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 then it's going to fire. I have the door here cracked. Okay, any moment. Okay, all the wires are purdied up. The black tape job is the speaker wire to the garage. You can see the green wire. There happens to be another green one there. Fix the wire there so it's on the right side, or on the left side, I should say, but that's all there. We'll run this down nice over here, kind of like that. And there is the blue wire that's unused for now. And the other ones are wired into the wire nuts, and we're all good to button it up. So that's it. Speaker, strobe, and siren for the garage. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to Lexmarks 567 for uh, mounting this shit and fixing the AC in that. Anyway, it's time for you to go. Done enough damage for the <laughs> next time. Anyway, check out Lex Marks, you know, link in the prescription and all that, and subscribe to him, subscribe to me, hit the like, and you know the deal. Alright, take care.